Yo, Vaisant here. So we're here with another Diablo 4 video. And we're going to talk about status effects. So I mostly played the Druid and the Rogue during the beta. So mostly the status effect is what's going to be deal with. Mostly the Druid. So we're going to talk about Fortify, Overpower, Vulnerability. Yeah, those three. <laughs> so there is a state called Fortified. And the way that it works is that some skills give you Fortify, right? But the effect doesn't actually activate until you have more fortified hp than your current hp and when that happens you have a base 10 percent damage reduction and so when you get hit while you're in the fortified state you actually lose hp uh, from your fortified life and your regular life goes down after the reduction of the 10 percent so other than that, when you're building a fortify and it's less than your current life, you don't actually get any benefit unless it's for overpower damage. So overpower happens at a fixed rate at like 3%. There's no way to increase it really with like items or anything, but there's ways to guarantee it. It was like a tooltip on the, on the game. There's a way to guarantee it like pulverize. If you get that node that allows you when you pulverize 10 seconds later your next pulverize will be guaranteed overpowered it becomes op and the way that overpower works is not like a multiplier or anything it's pretty much just your damage plus your life plus your fortify life so this is where that fortify comes in you don't need to be in a fortified state for it to happen so you just add all that up and it shows up as the teal and you can also stack this with crit and when it also crits as well crit usually is yellow but if you have teal and yellow it somehow becomes orange <laughs> so you become critically overpowered or critically op do you want to be unstoppable the unstoppable juggernaut that unstoppable buff uh, removes the crowd control and impairing effects and actually allows you not to be cc'd again for a short duration so, for example, let's say if you're, like, grabbed by this boss, uh, one of the bosses, and you can actually use Trample, that gives you Unstoppable, uh, it would just, or use that uh, Earthen Bullrock. I'm just using Druid examples, because I only play Druid. It'll knock you out of it, and then you can't be CC. But you still take damage. Damn, I feel so vulnerable. <laughs> if you don't know, I don't have a purple highlighted blight bar above me. But when you play Diablo 4 and you put the vulnerable debuff, you see the purple highlighted life bar. That means they're, they're vulnerable. And that allows them to take a base of 20% more damage from everything. And I just want to throw in barrier. There's also a barrier status effect that also I use as a rogue and as a druid most of the time. Well, it's more like a, a general one. But it's pretty much just like a shield and it's self-explanatory. A bonus... So when you get hit, it just takes down that barrier. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. Let me know what's your favorite status effect. And also check out my other 8 tips video. I also talk about this over there. But I decided to make a more summarized version in this video. But hopefully see you guys in Diablo 4. And in Sanctuary. Later days.